Oh, wow! Uh, hi everyone! Uh, welcome to Minecraft Story Mode! I'm Petra, and I'm gonna... Oh, right! That is my assistant, Ruben! Say hi, Ruben! The folks at Netflix wanted us to explain something super fast, right, Ruben? See, we're gonna need your help. Yeah, yours! To play the awesome, exciting story you're about to see. So, hang tight to your controller. You are going to play as Jesse, hero of Minecraft story mode. And your decisions will change all kinds of stuff. You'll know it's time to make a choice when your screen looks like this. All you gotta do is use the directional buttons on your controller to highlight the choice you wanna make. <laughs> and then press OK to pick it. Ha! Awesome! Well, I think that might be everything. Oh, right, right! Most important thing to remember is to hang on to that controller and have fun, okay? This is gonna be great! Ah, that's our cue. See you soon. Oh, hi! You need to pick which Jesse you want to play as. Oh, hello. Hey. I'll have them both read from the script to help you pick. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Teamwork makes the dream work. Nailed it! Pretty great, right? Oh! Boom. <sighs> It seems the student has become the master, and the pigs will have their day. Ooh, another good option. Tough choice. Okay, ready? Go ahead, choose which Jesse you want to play as. All right, yes! Okay, now we can start your game. Places, everyone! <laughs> Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes. And ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren the architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Yeah. 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 Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Okay, Olivia asked which thing you'd rather fight. You get to choose what Jesse says next. Just to be clear, yeah. you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. Yeah. 
so you'd have to fight them with your hands. I'd have to go with the giant chickens, not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I do yeah. this right, these yeah. lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> What kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Do you hear that? Oh, no. Ha <laughs> 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 Oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was awesome. Uh, Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm going to smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. <laughs> Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. What? Give me a dragon roar, Ruben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Enercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition's gonna get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally, he's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year, we've got Reuben with us. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That 
didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional, we build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Let's build an Enderman. Ah, uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared, we can't lose, cannot. Bring it in. Dare to prepare on three. No, 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 no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing, forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team, team prepare. the stuff for it, we are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build, I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, oh great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. Uh, ah, <laughs> ah. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? And stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're Our design is way cooler. A gigantic Enderman is better than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look. It's the Order of the Losers, again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> Psh, 
Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. And if you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? We're going to crush you. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but we're pretty good. Oh, wait, I get it. It's like a joke, right? No, I'm serious. We're going to destroy you. <laughs> you know, you're really funny. That's awesome. Hey, good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior. Ocelots! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... The Redstone Wrap. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, we can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build and we'll worry about ours. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this Enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. The lava's getting closer. We're ruined the build. Ruben's going to get lost. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got it covered, Jesse. Be careful. <laughs> we'll meet up with you at Endercon. Buddy, just oink if you can hear me. Okay, so now you get to choose where to go. Go ahead, select a location. Ruby. 
Ruben? Ruben! No, not you, you got pigs! Hey, all pigs but Ruben, shut up! Ruben. Ruben. Ruben! Oh no, are you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. <laughs> Ruben, there you are. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Ruben, run! <sighs> I think... I think we're good. <laughs> I think we made it! <laughs> Back! Get back! Stay behind me. I've got you. Ah! Stupid wooden swords! No, it's bad. I'll think of something. <laughs> Too many of them, buddy. Don't leave that spot, no matter what. You hear me? I got you. Get away from him! Oh, no, we got you! Ah! So ah! Yeah. Get off me! Ah! Come on, let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen... A wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. That's insane, Petra. You could have gotten yourself killed. Don't worry so much. I can handle myself. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Why didn't he just go get the skull himself? He's not the kind of guy who has time to do something like that. What kind of guy is he, then? The kind who understands the value of hard work. Wow. Wow, what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. want me to come with you. 
consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Jesse, the lever's not going to do you much good in a fight, is it? See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots, anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! <laughs> This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. Hurry up, Jesse! The only way off this bridge is through them. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. <laughs> so, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? Should I be nervous about this? Given your personality, your life experience, and everything else you've done to make it to this moment, yes. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. 
we ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. Sorry we didn't come with you, Jesse. But hey, we won! We did okay, didn't we? I still wish I'd gotten that part in the back to look better. I could have fit more fireworks in there, somewhere. I'm proud of you guys. Ah, oh, shucks. Don't make me blush. Seriously, don't. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry, we're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark, dark, very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. Just who are you? I'm waiting. Answer me. No, who are you? If you belonged here, you would know. Unless that's all part of the plan? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now! You're the guy who needed a wither skull, right? Not so loud, you idiot! Too many people know my business already. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, oh, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Maybe we should rethink the whole thing. This guy gives me a bad feeling. I'll give you a bad feeling if you ruin this for me. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's Lapis. I knew we couldn't trust that guy. We're going after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Oh, you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? Lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. There he is, Gabriel. Gabriel. Step aside, please. I have just one question. What's up? What's up? Nothing? What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. 
Hey, uh, congrats on the win. I mean, I still think our beacon was amazing, but you guys did a pretty good job too. I mean, I thought the whole monster theme was plenty cool, but fireworks too? It was sort of cool. Your beacon wasn't too shabby. You don't have to do that, okay? You guys won fair and square. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Ah, see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy-looking, beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated, mean to birds for no reason. Stop messing around, we need your help. I was looking, I swear. I've just got a short attention span. All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get owned. <laughs> I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag, how's your stupid pig? Kinda busy right now, man. What, busy trying to get a life? I'm busy trying to find some friends? Hey! Hey, what do you think you're- What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. Reuben, is that you? Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Reuben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! You kidnapped my pig! Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the streets. Please, he's my friend! To me, he's inventory. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Otherwise, it's straight to the slaughterhouse for this one. Well, all I've got is this sword. Ooh, that's very nice. With this, I could cut my butcher in time in half. <laughs> nice doing business with you. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I was so busy trying to find that creepy dude, I didn't notice. <laughs> Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is. Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go. So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? Uh, tickets? <laughs> this might sound crazy, but we're actually on an important mission. I hope your mission came with tickets to the show, because, I mean, otherwise... <laughs> Chicken! 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 It's gone. You're totally fine. You're a totally cool dude. We have to do something. Like what? The show has been sold out for ages. We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoo! Shoo! Get out of here! Usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. 
How are you gonna reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, sorry, just your regular, everyday chicken enthusiast here. Don't make me call security. I need to reach that window, but the fence is in the way. And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. Hmm. I bet I could reach that glass with a slime block. Well, you've come to the right place. Our slime's the best. Oh, hey, we meet again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. Can I please, please have some slime? Ugh, whatever. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Oh man, this guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafted time. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. Yeah. Go. There. Through that door. What do we do once we catch him? There are a million ways to play this. But considering this isn't my fight, I'll follow your lead. We politely Ask for what's ours. Short, sweet, and to the point. Not bad. You ready? Ready. You see anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? Looks like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I said we should ask politely, Axel. Yeah, but if the guy's not here, we can't ask. So I say, we take. Let's focus on finding the skull, not stealing. Nobody ever lets me have it. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Oh, hello. <laughs> too heavy. And too soft. But super flashy. You're keeping it? But I thought it was too soft, too heavy. Eh, it still might come in handy. And it is super flashy. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? 
Nah, I had to give it to some jerkwad butcher to save Reuben's life. Jeez. Oh well, I guess that was a pretty good cause. Here. Thanks. Again. You're welcome. Don't lose that one. Find anything? I want to steal that, and that. I just want to touch that. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not going to believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, Potion, I know this is a big step, but... I would be honored if you'd come home with me. It's yours if you want it that bad. I've never wanted anything badder. There's no way he won't notice his fancy potion is missing. A good thief always covers his tracks. Fixed it. Oh, yeah, the perfect crime. <laughs> hey, Reuben, find any clues? What is it, buddy? You smell something? Something over there? Good work, Reuben. What is all this stuff? Soul sand. It was everywhere in the nether. What about that block in the middle? I've never seen one of these before. I wonder if I just take a closer look. Don't touch that, Olivia. I was just curious. Don't forget what we're here for. Find that skull. So, good news, weird news. I found the skull, but... Why'd I risk my neck for that skull if he's got two of them already? Maybe Ivor is some kind of collector, a trophy hunter. Or he could be collecting them to make a bunch of banners. I think I know what's going on here. Soul sand plus three wither skulls. That's the recipe for a wither. But a wither? That's... One of the worst monsters there is. We came down here to find the skull. Well, we found it. Maybe we should just grab it and get out of here while we still can. Uh, guys? Scatter! Don't you recognize me? Oh, wait. Surprised? To see me? No, that's not good. Thought you were rid of me, didn't you? That's better. What was that? Who's there? Olivia, look out! What are you doing here? What did you see? Leave him alone. Yeah, back off, pal. You two. Did you follow me here? You thought you could get away with it, didn't you? We're here to prove you wrong. What are you going to do about it? We know what you're doing down here. Soul sand and three wither skulls. You're building a wither. Huh, smarter than you look. Hey, nobody talks to my friends like that. Now shut your mouth, or else. Enough! You've wasted too much of my time already. Where'd he go? If you won't leave of your own volition, I'll happily remove you myself. Show our friends the door, will you? <laughs> For the first time ever here at Endercon, 
We are very proud to present the one, the only, Gabriel! Everybody okay? Um, guys? Where's Lucas? I thought he was right behind me. Well, if he's not here, the only place he could be is... He's still down there. Ivor's got an iron golem and all the ingredients to build a wither down there. If he were to unleash it on this crowd of people, we have to act fast. It just so happens that the greatest warrior of all time is in the building. We should ask Gabriel for help. This is the smartest way to help Lucas. He's tough. I just hope he's tough enough to hold out a little bit longer. Exploits of the Order of the Stone that even I do. But then, it's so easy to doubt ourselves. We need Gabriel to get Lucas back and to deal with everything else we saw down there. We're doing the right thing, Jesse. I just hope Lucas can hold out against that golem long enough for us to get help. Come on, then. Let's crash this party. With the right training and guidance, anyone, and I mean anyone, can become a hero. You just have to believe it. I want you to look me in the eyes. We just gotta push through this crowd to get to Gabriel. Start believing today. Now I'd like to open up the floor for a few questions. Keep it orderly, folks. And you, right there in the front row. You know, when uh, Elgard and the dragon, um, like, what was her favorite food? Bread. Next question. What question do you have for the mighty Gabriel? Every person here is in danger. Now hold on just a minute. If this is a joke, it isn't funny. I'm not joking. Somebody's been building a monster in the basement. Hmm. Perhaps we should have this checked out. I have a question for you. Excuse me, sir. You'll have to wait your turn. Just tell me first. Do you really believe anyone can be great? With enough hard work? Yes. Was that where I went wrong? I simply didn't work hard enough? Ivor? That's the guy who attacked us in the basement. I wish I could say I was surprised. If it's surprises you want, you're in for a treat. Why don't you tell them the real story, Gabriel? I see time has made you bitter. And it's made you an even bigger fool. Now these people were promised greatness, and I'm ready to deliver. I'm sorry this is how they had to learn the truth. Gabriel, you have to stop him! Nothing built can last forever, Gabriel. Ivor, no! Creature, attack! Stay calm. This foul beast is no match for me. Creature, attack! What have you done? Gabriel! No, stay away! It's after me, not you. Look at him! The mighty Gabriel! Looks like true greatness is out of his reach. He may not be able to defeat this creature, but I can! Creature! Retreat! <clears throat> creature! Retreat! Retreat, I said! Retreat! He's 
lost control of it! Oh, no need to be alarmed, my friends. I have an elixir that will destroy this creature. That potion, is that? Uh-oh. Uh, what? Impossible. It should have worked. I took such care. The potion. Axel, you've got to throw the real potion. But finders keepers. You thieves, you're ruining everything. Axel, come on. Jesse, throw it. It's protecting itself. Without the command block exposed, the potion is useless. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. Ivor, you coward, come back here. Jesse, help me! Thank you. Ivor was right about one thing. I can't defeat that thing. Not on my own. Everyone's running away. Except for you. Will you help me? Of course. Follow me! We should be untouchable in there. So many of them. 
I, I can't save them all. I can't stop this by myself. We need to find the others. Others? Soren's been missing for years. But the others... You must seek them out. Take this amulet and guard it with your life. You can do this. You must. How am I supposed to find Magnus and Eligard? The amulet will guide you. Take it through the portal, and then... You two, go through the portal and meet up with the others. I'll stay here and do whatever I can. I'm coming with you. No, you're not. The gang needs you, Jesse. Go through the portal. If anything happens, I'll meet you guys at the temple. Oh no! I can't get away from it! Jesse, do something! Somebody help! Get through the portal! Jesse! Ah! Hold on, Petra! I'm coming for you! Huh? Ah! Where's Petra? We did everything we could. What are you saying? It was chaos. There wasn't much I could do. Jesse's right. Petra is still up there. I got scared. Just for a second. You got scared? It wasn't my fault. You got scared and it's not your fault? Back off, Axel. We gotta go back. She just needs more time. Petra needs our help. We're going. Hey, there she is. Come on, come on. You again. Ivor. You ruined everything. You can't blame us. Your plan, your monster, your fault. Maybe. But if you hadn't stolen from me, I would have destroyed it. And all of those people would have been saved. There's nothing left up there. Nothing but that wither storm. Why are we wasting time talking to this jerk? We have to go and get Petra. The girl. I saw her. What? While I was running toward the portal, I passed her. She was running in the opposite direction. Such bravery. Of course, there's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. And your friend has crossed it. I'm saying she's stupid. She's going to make it. You're concerned about your friend. It's admirable. You're all going to be dead very soon. We'll see about that. You don't even realize you're in danger right now. So are you. Through that tunnel is a network of minecarts built by the Order of the Stone. It's your only way out. Much as I hate to admit it, he might be right. Bravo for embracing the truth. What was that? I would wish you good luck, but luck won't carry you through the nether. You have my sympathies. Let's get out of here! Run! This must 
be what Ivor was talking about. Yeah, that is a lot of lava, and fire, and other things that could burn you to death. Oh no! Oh, that's a drop. That is very, very much a drop. Oh. What are you talking about, new guy? What drop? Oh, you weren't kidding. Everybody, hold on! Okay, so I'm not the only one seeing that we're running out of track, right? No! Good! Jesse, that switch! Now, do it! Oh, arms don't fail me now. Yaha! <laughs> wow! I thought something bad was gonna happen there, but <laughs> I guess everything's gonna be... Whoa! Yes. No! Whoa. Wait! Oh, man! Uh, Axel? Olivia? Ruben? Anybody? Hang on, Ruben! Ruben! Okay, Ruben, remember how I said everything was gonna be just fine before? I know I was wrong then, but I have a very good feeling about- it. Whoa! Well, gas are officially crossed off my to see list. Some of the gas, never need to see them. Are you freaking kidding me with this? <laughs> this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Is... huh. Is everyone okay? I mean, I'm not dead. I guess that's pretty good. Ditto. Ditto with the not dead. I just can't believe that Petra comes down here all the time. This place is awful. <laughs> Your throat's gonna be sore later, Axel. Why? I'm just saying. Wasn't that you doing all that screaming before? Sounded like you were really shredding your larynx. Oh, yeah. I heard that, too really high-pitched, kind of like a squeaky piston. What? No, shut You know how you have those experiences you remember and reminisce about for the rest of your lives? Yeah? This isn't one of those. Let's never discuss this ever again. <laughs> Can you throw up, like, inside your body? Uh-huh. I know, because I just did. About five times. Wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. I just need to make sure I have everything I'll need. I think I put the, uh, thing over in the... You can do it, Axel. 
That's right, I can do it. Whatever's on the other side has no idea what it's got coming. All right, here I go. Thanks, Jesse. Right behind you. Be safe up there, Axel. Ready or not, here I come. That was close. I'm never going first again. Where are we? In the dark, in the middle of nowhere? Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's this dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temple. Take it easy, Axel. He called me stupid. No, I didn't. But you wanted to. No, I didn't. Huh? Did you say something? We have to build a shelter. I thought that was what I said, but, uh... Yep, that's totally... <sighs> it's getting dark and stuff. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is... We gotta do it fast. What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. A treehouse is gonna be spider town. I hate spiders. Let's build a hut. It won't take as long. It's not. That's it, Olivia. Jesse made the call. We should get started. All that work? And we're still eye-level with monsters that are trying to kill us. It's done. It's over. We aren't talking about it anymore. We could have maybe done, like, a multi-level thing, but... That's too late now. I mean, it's... It's cool. Let's keep it together, guys. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. I'll just... grab something in the morning, or something. Take it, Lucas. <laughs> no, no. I, I... I can't do that. I insist. Thank you, Jesse. That was for you, Jesse, not him. If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens. Choose wisely. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. Petra wouldn't mind at all. She'd want us to keep our spirits up. If I were her, I'd... I don't know, it feels wrong. Fine, then, uh, we should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split Whoa, up... Oh, what are you doing? He's just trying to help. See? I'm sorry, Jesse. 
I'm not going to sit here and listen to this guy telling us what's what. I'm just trying to get ready for tomorrow. You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take that back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. Let's just drop it. Don't be like that, Jesse. Just drop it. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen, why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. You're not going anywhere. But Jesse... That's enough. We're all on the same team now. He's staying. Zombie-sized chickens. That's what I would fight. Why is that? Because I'm starving. Thanks for keeping me around, Jesse. Yeah. business last night. Honestly, I'm just... I'm more embarrassed than anything else. See anything? Hey! There's something over that way! What is it? Some kind of building, I think. Let's get a closer look. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. That's probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! <sighs> we're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Well, let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword, Oh, and some string from a spider that I fought in the woods earlier. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Let's 
do this. All right. Good job, Jesse. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. This might explain why Ivor had such a grudge against Gabriel. They lied to us. They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Only one way to find out. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I've found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the Order. And does it mention how? It's less technical and, well, more historical. We're in the Temple of the Order of the Stone. The Order's actual temple. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I just hope we all come out the other side in one piece. It's the same as the amulet.
absolutely incredible! How did they build this? This looks like some sort of tracking system. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. Petra's relying on us. That Witherstorm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two whites. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Well, let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. But just stay safe, okay? If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. And obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I... <laughs> think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. Uh, no. I don't think I did. Pretty sure Axel meant Magnus. Jesse, the point is, you should be going to Eligard's. It's the clear choice to make. You've got to come with me. You're my best friend, Jesse. It's you and me. Like always. Think about it, Jesse. This is more of a gut call. We need to make sure we get this right. We're not going to get a second shot at this. Whatever decision you make, I'll be cool with it. Really? Get ready to roll, Axel. We're gonna go find Magnus. Let's do this. Olivia, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra comes back, okay? <sighs> Fine, but I'm only doing this for Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? Please hurry. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? Jesse, you're not even having a little fun? I mean, I am! Just don't lose track of why we're here, okay? If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. That means we need to get to Magnus as soon as freaking possible. You know what? You're right. We're gonna find Magnus, bring him back, and he'll totally know how to blow that <laughs> thing, Scott. Uh, dude! <laughs> Why does it hate us so much? Uh, hurry! Use something on that gas. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose?
You were awesome, Jesse. With that gas and chasing the minecart, that is like the perfect warm up for when we get to Boomtown. Boomtown? Yeah! Boomtown! This is it. I, uh, I think I'm gonna hold off on the whole going first thing for a while, Jesse. How about you take this one? they died doing what they loved. Well, here you have it, Jesse. Boomtown in all its glory. What do you think? Wow, Boomtown sure does keep you on your toes. Exciting stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah, now you're getting it. Dude, it's freaking glowing. Dude, I think you're on to something there. Yeah, well, the green part is. That's weird. Yeah. And look, it glows brighter when I move it in certain directions. Easy does it. Easy. Maybe to the left. No, the right. I mean, your left. Right, I mean, you're right, about left. Axel, you're stressing me out with that. Whoa, whoa, Ooh. ding, ding, ding. Looks like that spire is where we'll find Magnus. Hey there, new people. You, uh, you said you know where Magnus is? Just leave us alone, okay? It's none of your business. Hmm. I'm afraid to say that you're just making me wonder even more what the heck is up with that thing. What's going on? Nor found some noobs with a thingy that can find Magnus. Jesse? <laughs> Why don't you help us, huh? I promise it's to help save the world. Yeah, sounds complicated. I prefer you just handing over the thingy. <sighs> Get back here with that. I am Nor. And I shall use this amulet to find Magnus and become the new... No! <laughs> Bunch of noobs! Hey, are they going the same way? They're working together. This is just how we do it in Boomtown. Which one took the amulet? The thief is mine. You take the one with the fishing pole. Got it. Sorry, guys, but I've been trying to find Magnus for way too long for you to stop me now. Oh. Later, Dingus! Only one way out of a pit. Axel! 
Russell! Jesse, there you are. So I totally cornered that Fisher dude, and they were all scared and stuff. Where is the amulet? Stop right there! How about... no? <laughs> ah! These bricks will take forever to punch through. Luckily, I think I found us a punch-free entrance. <sighs> okay, little amulet. Show me the way. Of course, not sure what I'll do when I get there, but that's Future Nor's problem. I bet Future Nor is very successful. Ah! Uh, give it back. This is more important than you know. Uh oh. Yes. Nice! What did I tell you about teamwork? What? But I'm the one who said we should work together! No, you didn't! Give me that! Get it back! Got it! I actually got it! Quick! Flush him out! Somewhere in that building above us, he's gotta be close! Then quick! Toss me the amulet! You're surrounded by griefers and they're gonna tear you apart! Well... Jesse, we need to move now! Letting this thing out of my sight or my hand ever again. Don't worry, man, I got this. Okay, well, hurry. I'll try and cover you. Guys! Hey, guys, I've got the amulet. Hey! I hate all the things that guy is saying! It makes me so mad! sound so surprised. Everything go okay? Long story. Lots of throwing eggs at griefers. Well, sounds exciting. Totally was. You still got the amulet? Yep, let's go. Look out for booby traps, okay? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You were completely surrounded by hundreds of hidden death traps. One step closer, and kaboom! It's Magnus! We totally got caught by Magnus! Uh, oh. I think we're gonna die now. Did you really think you could sneak up on me? Ha! You're two of the worst griefers I've ever met. And a pig? Really? Hardly stealthy. Oh yeah? Well, oink going going to you, pork chop! Hey, no griefers here. <laughs> no way. We came from way out of town to find you. Oh, really? I mean, that guy? He's got griefer written all over him. Yeah, well, that's because he's your biggest fan. Look at him. I mean, not like, biggest fan. Right? So tell me something, not Griefers. How'd you find me? Gabriel sent us on this mission. Gabriel? <laughs> You're seriously telling me you buddy-buddy with Gabriel? You know how often people try and tell me that one. 
This is all sounding pretty weird, dudes. Ah! Who are you really? Why are you here? The world is being destroyed. You have me intrigued. Go on. There's a huge monster eating up the entire world, and nothing can stop it. That's why Gabriel told us to reunite the Order. Magnus, you gotta come with us. You might be the only chance we have. Give me one reason why, for even a second, I should come with you. You're supposed to be a hero, Magnus, and right now, the world needs a hero. You can come with us and help stop this disaster. All this stuff you've told me, you expect me to just take your word for it? Two strangers with wild stories. And nothing to show for it. Except an amulet. That's not theirs. Magnus, every word of what I'm saying is true. You have to believe me. Okay, okay, you sold me. I'm in. But we might have a little bit of a problem getting out of here. <laughs> huh? You're Magnus. You can just walk out of here. Hello? I don't know if you've looked around this place, but uh, it's kind of full of griefers. But that's kind of awesome, right? <laughs> no. You've heard about the whole challenging the king for his crown thing, right? It's like their thing. So long as I'm king, I can't leave this tower. But you're Magnus. No one can beat you. And that's the problem. Simply put, that's life as king of Boomtown. <laughs> Just choose a new king and then come with us. Look, I've beaten them dozens of times. And none are worthy. They'll see right through it. But you, huh? You're the newcomer with the gold amulet. By now, there'll probably be all sorts of rumors about how awesome you are. If you beat me, then I'll be able to leave. Can't believe I didn't think of it before! They're gonna call this the Fight of the Century! How would I ever beat you? <laughs> I know, right? But that's just it. You won't have to. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm actually excited about this. But we gotta make sure it looks legit. The Death Bull has never seen the carnage that we're about to create. Uh, what's the Death Bull? This is the Death Bull! You're king of Boomtown! Prepared to defend his title and crown! So, Tiny, welcome to the Death Bowl. The grief off to end all grief offs. How do you want to fake this? We'll start off small, then I'll throw some TNT at you. Just let it graze you, and then we'll call it a finish, alright? Okay, something about TNT. Awesome! And you, what name do you go by? They call me the Amulet Holder. You heard the name, folks. Give a big death bowl welcome to the Amulet Holder. Then let's begin. Opponents will craft their own griefing towers, which they will then use to grief each other. The only rule is... There are no rules! <laughs> no eye poking! Other than that, go crazy! Seriously. Oh! Amulet holder! Pick your building material! And Magnus, you... Nah, I'm good. Brought my own supply. Let the griefing begin! Some stone? 
some hmm, pink wool. <laughs> Stone it is. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Guess it'll have to do. Axel, what are you doing over there on his side? Yeah. I thought you might bring that up. It's just that Reuben wanted to take your corner and I didn't want to crowd him or anything, so I thought I'd um watch from over here. Take your best shot! And that's how you shouldn't throw an egg. Ha! You grief with me, you grief with the best! <laughs> so, amulet holder, taking an amulet isn't enough. You need to take my crown as well. I do not discriminate in my accessory taking. Your crown shall be mine. <laughs> you are but a student. Prepare yourself, for I am here to give you your final lesson. Just a warning! What? A warning that you need glasses? It seems the student has become the master, and the amulet holder will win the day. I don't know what that means, but I love it and want to put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> but what happened to getting hit by my TNT? Nobody messes with the Boom Master! Uh-oh. Jesse! Jesse, you okay? Had enough yet? Alrighty! I think noob time is over. We've had some nice laughs, but now they must come to a close. And you should run home! Luck sometimes visits the most unskilled of us, but it never lingers. Skill, mastery, these are the things that will see you defeated! Magnus, crack the cannon! Yeah! Finish it with a cannon! If it's a cannon you want, it's a cannon you'll get! Yep, he's completely lost it. Dude's going for the kill. Jesse, you'd better craft the, I don't know, greatest thing of your life, like right now. Well, there's still some material in the chest. That's it, Jesse, go! The axe, check it out. Ah, that should hold him. Yeah, it's, yeah, um, yeah, it might do, but Jesse, look. Whoa! <laughs> you were supposed to throw the fight. <laughs> The TNT! Inside the cannon! TNT plus arrow. Oh yeah! Time to see how well you fly, pig! Ruben! Oh. I got you, I got you. Man, you smell delicious right now. Hey, Magnus! Yeah? Short stub? 
flying pig jokes are totally played out. Champ, it's just the winner. Sometimes I don't know. Gives a speech, pontificates, orates, say something. Who likes explosions? That's right. Yeah, you do. And that's why I'm standing up here today. Well, you guys ready then? Oh, yeah! This'll be a way easier target than Magnus! Wait, what's going on? Oh, well, that's not good. Is that your wither storm? How are we? What are we? That's... Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no! Come on! You'll regret messing with Boom Town! No! Okay, just a little farther. Wow! Someone really went bonkers with the defenses, huh? <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? <laughs> nice! Quick, come on. You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Hey guys, how's it going? Petra, you made it! It's good to see you too, big guy. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the Witherstorm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. It even got Gabriel. It's been a while since I've been here. Whoa. What is she doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. Um, I forgot to mention, Olivia went on a little expedition of her own while you were gone. And this Olivia person came back with her? Did you know about this? Jesse, Jesse, look, I found Eligard. Just hang on a sec, okay? I'll go figure out what's going on. Good, you do that. Easy now, Olivia. Let's try and play it cool. Hmm? So, who are you now? And why did you bring him with you?
hey, come on, Magnus is awesome, and he's going to help us stop this weather storm. You really believe that? <laughs> wow. It was kind of crazy, actually. I went to Redstonia, and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually, but Elagard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. She might have, well, embarrassed herself a, a tiny bit. Yeah, but after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Well, I'm the king of Boomtown. Very impressive. Oh, hooray! It's Ellie, and here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember, which is to say, not at all. Oh, my feelings. Is that the same wit you're going to use to save the world? Why? You're here to tell me how to do it better? Oh, I would never dream of doing that. Unlike you, I actually do things instead of just talking about them. Hey, that's Eligard you're talking to. Show her some respect. Wow, you finally found yourself a live one. Hey! Your little devotees are usually a little more on the bookish side. Leave her out of this, Magnus. This is between the two of us. Oh. Olivia, I just stay out of this. But your friend's right, Olivia. I've got this just fine on my own. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. Yeah, I'll admit, that thing looked real nasty. And I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey, you weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. You've never seen anything like it. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT, stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, 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 I've heard all about the F-bomb before. Well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. There's your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little... Weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super TNT. <laughs> Whoa. Blue? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move. It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Perfect. We can wait till tomorrow morning and travel with a full day's sunlight. Uh, and is that thing catching up with us? I think I've had enough weather storm for one day. Uh, thank you very much. Right, because getting caught out there in the dark is so much better. Hey, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. OK, 
Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Jesse, right? Oh, hello. We haven't had the chance to acquaint ourselves properly. I hear that you saved your friend Petra from this wither storm. Sounds like you're a pretty impressive individual. I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. I can always appreciate humility. I like you. A slight tangent, what's the uh, deal with your friend Olivia? I appreciate her enthusiasm, but she can be a little much sometimes. She's always very eager to jump in and help. Which is sweet, of course, though sometimes I wish she would think a bit more before jumping in. Especially I don't know if you caught this, but she's like your biggest fan. You probably just make her nervous. That's an excellent point. Hadn't thought about that. Seems like you respect her a lot. Why didn't you listen to her plan to come and recruit me? I figured that we needed firepower, and no one knows destruction better than Magnus. The man does know how to blow things up with reckless abandon, that's for sure. I'll do my best to not let it hurt my feelings. <laughs> joke. That was a joke. Uh, guys? I told you it was gonna catch up with us. Oh my. You really weren't kidding. No. Not again. We can hash all that out later. Come on, we gotta get out of here! Not again. Not again. Sorens isn't much farther. We can make it. This wither storm. Agreed. Soren's place has got to be just ahead. Come on. <laughs> Soren really lived down here. It's so far from. Anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! <laughs> Don't fall, okay? <sighs> oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. of a drop than I was expecting. Endermen. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. No kidding. It's like an Enderman party. I heard your voice and thought I would come down to help. Thanks for coming back, Lucas. I mean that. Be quiet! 
It's just a pointless building! That's all I'm saying! I mean, look at- Magnus, if an artist painted the inside of your mind, he'd end up with the most extraordinary desertscape paintings. That's it! I'm going! Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this Super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no! You do not get to be the one who walks away! That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Petra, are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. But let's split up. I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? What is that? What's wrong with your arm? Do you know what wither is? The wither? Of course, we've been- No, Jesse. Just wither, or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others. We can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. <sighs> ah! Creeper! Ah! Grab my hand, I'll pull you up. Jesse, I just couldn't... I'm sorry. Jesse? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. Show yourself, who's there? Mm. You... Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. What are you doing down here? Being rudely interrupted by you, clearly. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Sorry, Ivor, I'm... Oh, you're not going anywhere. Hmm, Petra. You escaped? Ha <laughs> 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 ha! 
coolest girl. Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you ah. down. I'm not letting him leave either. Good. I'm the only one who can stop the Wither Storm. Not you, not the Order. Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. You're not going anywhere. Ah! This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> Run like the wind! Don't tempt your fate. It didn't have to go this way, Jesse. You could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> it's one of his invisibility potions. He could be anywhere. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away with this. This one's on you, you fool! There's no time for this. Jesse! Petra! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. A query. Have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? What? think they can stop me? That they can destroy the Wither Storm? But they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. It is said that within every loss, every challenge, and every failure, there is a gift. And when our band of unlikely adventurers are tasked with saving the world from the coming storm, they will bring together the bravest and the brightest to stop it. But finding the last and most elusive member of the Order of the Stone and his legendary Formidabomb would prove their most perilous mission yet. For some would rather our hero's story end here, shutting the door on their adventure forever. But like all doors, when one closes, another is bound to open. Stop him! You won't get away with this. Uh. Watch it! Get out of the way! Ah! Everyone okay? Ah, uh, I felt all of that. That was one heck of a landing, Axel. He mostly used his face. We need to find Soren. Yeah. I still can't figure out how Ivor made the door close. Maybe we should focus more on how it opens. That's basically what I said. Guys. Are you okay? Maybe it was Why are you asking me that? Just checking up on you. Everything's fine. All of it. Are you okay? <coughs> Wait, are you... <coughs> are you... <coughs> Look at this. 
I'm not trying to freak you out, but I'm a little bit freaked out right now. It's starting to feel stiff. And my vision's all jittery. Let's keep this between us for now. I was thinking the same thing. They might get upset or, I don't know. Exactly. We don't know. It's just gonna cause panic and we can't afford that right now. If it becomes more of a thing, I'll tell everyone. But let me do it. Hey guys, I have an idea. Okay. Magnus, help! Well, all right, but I have another idea. Is it yelling for Eligard? Well, not anymore. Look, they aren't coming back. They couldn't abandon us if they wanted to. As long as we have... this! Flint and steel? I don't get it. it it's not... that's not what I meant to pull out. Hold on... Uh, oh, this! Here, let me see it. <clears throat> Do you mind? I just want to see it. You can see it without touching. What if you can't get it to work? It's working fine. Oh! Soren! This is the spot. It has to be. Maybe. This is definitely it. Get ready to dig, people. Who knows how far down that goes? Anyone else have a better plan? Jesse's talking to you, Lucas. I know. I, I just need a... Hi, go! Let's get to it, then. It's a hole! Does that mean we're cool? I I'll find out! I guess that makes sense. You dig, you get a hole. I'm not sure why I expected anything else. That was my point. No, it wasn't. Would have been bad. Hey guys, get a move on. <laughs> Everyone okay? I just slipped. What's that smell? Just Breathe through your mouth. Axel already does that. Hey. Let's get out of here. Stay close, boy. We have to get out of here. What? We have to get out of here. We just got here. You don't understand. This is a grinder. They're meant to kill monsters. Trouble is, they can't tell the difference between monsters and people. This can't be good. But there should be a loot room down there, right? Just saying, not all bad. Creepers! What? He's 
right down. Was that the amulet? Yes. <sighs> Wait, are you going to jump? You're going to jump, aren't you? Please tell me you're not going to jump. Jumping is the easy part. It's the landing that's hard. This one's mine. For more? <gasps> Jesse! Hey, ugly! Watch out! Hey, Bonehead! I'm talking to you! Any time now, Jesse!
Is everyone okay? We all good? Well, I am definitely not thirsty anymore. <sighs> We're fine. <sighs> no, no, don't worry. I'm totally fine. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I knew you'd come for us. I just knew it. Reuben had his doubts. I owe you. I'm just glad you're okay. Both of you. Thanks, Jesse. There's something different about you, Jesse. You're... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! This is where all the loot gets sorted, right? That's exactly what it is. See that? Things are starting to turn around. Oof. It looks like it's still working. I'll just be real careful with it. Keep it safe. Hey, thanks for grabbing that. Not a problem. Hang on a minute. He's close. Soren's close by. He's gotta be... this way. Look how bright it is. Whoa. Sounds like the grinder is packed up. With loot? <sighs> go, 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 go! Running and monsters. An end portal? That's the way out. Wait! What? Look! Oh no! Petra! Get away from them! Yeah! Yeah! In your face, monsters! I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. <sighs> Here we go! Jump! Keeps getting better. Where's Axel? He was right behind me. Ooh. Ha! See? I told you I'd pay you back. Get off! Oh, jeez. Are you hurt? What? No, I'm not crying. Just look! Call it whatever you want. As long as we don't look at them, we'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. 
We might want to hold off on the grammar lessons until later. Which way are we headed, Jesse? Stuff like that doesn't work in the nether. Probably not the end, either. <laughs> ah, great. Whew. Man, so we were trapped, and now we're lost. At least we're alive and well. Yeah. We just have to keep on trucking till we get to Soren. <sighs> Face it, Jesse. We might never find this guy. There he is. That has to be Soren. Who else would build a staircase in the end? We gotta go. Everyone, follow me. I'll get us to the other side. It's not a good idea. Jesse's right. Actually, you know what? I'll just go. Give me a chance. Just say the word. And I'll do it. Everyone, follow Lucas. And let's pick up the pace, okay? Come on! Yes. <laughs> Thanks. And you too, Jesse. Thanks for giving me a shot. Someday, I love something as much as Soren seems to love stairs. Jesse, can you give me a sec? Need a hand? Oh, no. <coughs> I can manage. Thanks. Really, I'm fine. I'm good, I'm good. We can keep moving. So many stairs. There's a ladder. Better not be a long one. Whatever this is, looks like that's the way in. After you, dude. Here goes. must be seeing things. It's like another world up here. A brand new, totally unspoiled world. Ah, so bright. Ah! Uh. Uh. That's my body, Axel. My broken, battered Hang body. A second. What in the... It's made of wool! This tree, the grass, it's... It's all wool. You're telling me that we've been resting all our hopes on this guy, and the whole time he's been building some totally artificial happy land? Could it be that he just... missed home? 
If you miss home, you go and visit. You don't build an exact replica. We came here for nothing! We came here for Soren and for his Formidabomb. That's still the plan. Just look around, Jesse! If the greatest builder of all time has spent years working on this, what are the chances he's even gonna have that bomb, huh? I've had enough crazy for one day. What's his problem? Just give him some space. He'll be okay. So I'm probably looking for... Well, to open a secret door, you need a secret mechanism. Hmm. Hey, Petra. So, on a scale of uh to uh, how bad are you feeling? Somewhere in between, but I'm holding on for now. How do you think Soren managed to get out of here without leaving any clues behind? He is the greatest builder of all time. If anybody knew how to put in the secretest of secret doors, it's him. Hey, Reuben. Oh. I know I'm supposed to be looking for something, Reuben. Any idea what? What's that boy? You see something over there? Whoa. Well, at least that's not made of wool. Must be all sorts of hidden water systems in this place. Neat! What do you want? You haven't found a way out of here, have you? Honestly, I haven't even been looking. I just... I just need a little alone time right now. What's your problem, Lucas? Lucas, no matter how upset you get, you've got to keep it together. I know. I do. I just... Listen, I know I've been prickly, okay? But... Jesse, I think something's wrong with Petra. <coughs> I mean, you have to have noticed. I, I wish I could tell you, but I'm not supposed to talk about it. Wait, talk about what? Jesse, if I'm right about this, you have to tell me. It's not fooling anybody. At least not me. can take care of herself. You just worry about you. You're hiding something. And by not telling me the truth, you are putting all of us in danger. Why don't you go back to looking for Soren? I know you're sick of talking to me. I kind of need to get at that lever you're blocking. Fine. Wasn't too hard, was it? Walking one foot to the left? Nope. I think I got that covered. That's weird. Hey, everyone, I think I found Soren's way out. Nope. Don't want it, don't need it. Thanks. We'll check out the rest of the house. See if we can find Soren before he finds us.
Let's see what's going on behind this door. And I call that one symphony in E. <laughs> A new composition to celebrate my newest discovery. That's him! I observed one place of block Soren. on top of another block. <laughs> what the? Yes, but a sign it's of just a recording. Intelligence. <laughs> I hope I'm not imagining things. Goodness knows. After all before. that, <laughs> he's not even here? <laughs> I, 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 I better eat something. I'm, I'm positively lightheaded with excitement. We came all this way, and for what? We're no closer to Soren than before. This record didn't turn on by itself. Huh, good point. I guess he really likes the sound of his own voice then. Maybe there's something well, useful on this record. I can figure out what he's talking about. To build collaboratively. Hmm. I've worked up a simple set of building instructions to inspire them. <laughs> I will disguise myself and hide among them in order to observe them more closely. Huh. Hmm. Oh, hide among them. Hide among them. Uh, Jesse, do you think Soren is talking about them? <laughs> what I guess everybody needs hobbies, even if they are really, really, really dangerous. You think he's actually training Enderman to build stuff? I think he thinks he's training Enderman to build stuff. Let's look around, see what we could find out. Olivia, check it out. Looks like a taller one was hanging there, but it's missing. Because Soren must be wearing it. This is the disguise he was talking about. You mean... In order to walk amongst the Endermen, you have to become an Enderman. Kinda stinky, but it fits. Ugh, more than kinda stinky, I'm sorry to say. It's so weird. I know it's you in there, but I still don't want to look at you. The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. He must be conducting his experiment right now. Which means if we want to get to Soren, oh, we have to go out there to do it. I'll just wait here. You know that's really creepy, right? Huh? The Ender Suit. I keep wanting to not look at you. It's so disturbing. I'm sorry. What do you think the others have found? I don't know. Soren's mansion looked huge, but the lab seems to be where the real answers are. Something. What you got? It's definitely some sort of crafting recipe. But why would someone as brilliant as Soren need a recipe for a shape that simple? Because they're not for Soren. They're for the Endermen. This must be what he's trying to teach them to build. I bet if I complete it, that would really get his attention.
I need six blocks to finish that shape in Soren's instructions. And this guy's got the only block around. Nothing I can't handle. False evidence of Enderman intelligence accomplished. Uh, nothing to see here, guys. Just walk away. Okay, they're not walking away. Definitely not walking away. I am sorry about this, but it has to look real. I, I don't think it'll bruise. Your face, I... These suits were built with durability in mind. You must be Soren. Well, I am. But must I be? Why did you hit me? There were strategic reasons. And a personal one. You are trespassing, after all. You hit me hard in the face. You upset the Enderman, and I got you to safety. By the way, as far as introductions are concerned, this is not going very well. We're in danger. Oh, what else is new? Whatever your issue is, whatever your problem, it has occurred before and has been solved before. Even so, what do you need me for? I've gone out of my way to avoid these types of problems. I don't even remember what it looks like up there. Help me save the world. How? The Formidabomb. There's a wither storm on the loose and it's eating the world. Ah, I see. You misspoke. You don't need me. You need my stuff. I've found that when you give people what they want, they turn on you. Who turned on you? All of them! It's why I prefer Endermen. They always do what you expect, almost to a fault. I have the amulet. What? Gabriel gave it to me. Gabriel? Gabriel asked me to reassemble the Order of the Stone. The Order of the Stone? They asked for me? Gabriel is your friend. Hmm. I don't know. Does he ever talk about me? Uh, sure. What kinds of things do they say? That you were missed. Really? Maybe it was more missing. You have to read between the lines. Yes, yes you do. But what about you? Are you my friend? As long as we're on the subject? Not to put you on the spot. Sure. Ah, that's the best thing I've heard in years. Admittedly, it's not a very high bar. Don't worry. I'm going to help you, because that's what friends do. Before we leave, I'm going to give my old friends a gift. The gift of song. What's happening? 
Gary may seem scary, but he's a swell guy. Sally dilly dallies, give her credit she tries. They might look the same to the untrained eye, but that's a lie, and so I say. Wait, is that are 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 you? Soren. Whoa. Nice to meet you, Soren. <coughs> you look terrible. Look away. You've upset them. You've altered their behavior. Okay, let's go. And the hits just keep on coming. Huh? I wasn't expecting so many house guests. There's no way I have enough seashell soaps for all of them. How are we supposed to get out of here? We need to come up with a plan. And not our usual, we'll come up with a plan when we have to, oh wait, now we have to kind of plan. Let's break that fountain. Back in the maze, when we fell into the water, the Endermen didn't follow us. Well, naturally. Endermen hate water. Oh, if we could force the fountain to overflow somehow. Jesse, you still have the Enderman suit. Put that on, and you'll be able to safely reach the fountain. Ugh. <laughs> Just when I thought I'd never have to smell this thing again. Good luck, dude. We'll, um, all watch from here, then. Where it's safe. Try not to die. Yes. Okay, everybody, let's go. What's the hold up? <gasps> They're everywhere. How are we supposed to get through this? I mean physically and psychologically. Say we somehow make it. I can't see how this won't become a reoccurring nightmare. Everyone, just hold on to me. I'll guide us through them. I guess if this is the only way we're gonna make it back to the trap door... constructed this place, I worried about how flammable my building material was. So I installed a fire suppression system to prevent the whole thing from going up in flames. 
So there's more water? Much more. If we activate it, it could disperse all these Endermen while we swim to safety. Can we reach the controls from here? The lever! It's right up there! Yeesh! water this thing is going to kick out, so everybody... It's working! Well done, Jesse. Now, time to swim to that trap door. We made it. Making it is relative. <gasps> oh, come on! Not that this isn't a ton of fun, but let's grab that permitted bomb and get out of here! One small problem. Tiny. Really? Uh, this cool, Steven. <clears throat> I haven't actually built it yet. That's a small problem? You seem like a person who appreciates cool stuff that's cool for no reason. Thanks? Go ahead and throw that lever behind you. Hold on to your socks, because they're about to get blown off. Go to work, boys. <laughs> Somebody that was terrifying. I'm sorry, but it might indeed kill me. Do you guys hear that? Hear what? All that stuff whispering. Take me, take me now. I know this is cool, but the only things we need in here are the ingredients for the Formidabon. The loot says you're wrong. I'll just fetch the Super TNT. It's right up there. How are you gonna get up there? Oh, I have my ways. Oh, and feel free to help yourselves. Find us some gunpowder. Paradise or what? Honestly, I'm wearing what right now? All this power went straight to my head, and then I got a head rush, and now I'm too overwhelmed to take anything. Stay strong, Axel. I'll try. I mean, it would be really handy to have glowstone dust. But it would be so cool to finally have my very own spider eye. Big decision? I'll leave you to it. Are you both doing okay? It's gotten really bad. Part of me is hoping that you know, when we bomb the wither storm, this will just dissipate.
Cool. Just make sure you keep an eye out for the gunpowder we'll need to make that Formida bomb. Hey, Soren? Jesse! I think I've got almost enough gunpowder now. Glad to hear it. And Jesse, I am sorry for not keeping this place as organized as I should. It's very embarrassing. And this is my super TNT. Let's build us a Formidabomb. Yes, let's build away. Uh, how do we build us a Formidabomb exactly? Do we just combine this with the gunpowder? Well, the crafting recipe is quite simple, really. Super TNT in the middle, and gunpowder all around. Got it. No, 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 no. The ingredients are highly unstable. Even putting them in close proximity to each other is a risk. Okay, well, we may not have the Formidabomb yet, but at least we finally have the ingredients to build one. Progress. And now that we have them, we... <clears throat> we... I literally don't remember. You're gonna have to help me out a little, Jesse. Now we just need to find a way to get it inside the Witherstorm to blow it up. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I was afraid of this. With the end underwater, the Endermen will try to escape. Maybe we should leave before any of them show up. Of course, of course. To the mine carts, everyone. <laughs> I've been waiting ages to say that. To people, I mean. What? Just in time to hold up the trophy, huh? Why did you leave us? Leave? <laughs> We're right here. You ditched us. Uh, we've been fighting this entire time. <gasps> ah! Oof. Uh, what's going on? You don't have to worry about the monsters. They're running away. Worry about what they're running away from. I feel like that got bigger. It did. It's for Midabomb time. Soren? It's him! It's you! Hello, old friends. <laughs> It's time to go. We only get one shot at this. Remember, once the Formida Bomb is crafted, it'll explode in a matter of seconds. It means whoever is doing the crafting will be in great danger. I was hoping, well, perhaps we could draw straws. I'm going to set off the Formidabomb. That's what I was hoping for. The rest of us will build distractions in its path. Hopefully it will buy you some time. Jesse, take my armor. It will help. Nah, you can take mine. 
It's gotten me out of a lot of jams. I insist. I double insist. Uh, I triple insist. I insist four times. Quadruple. Know it all. <laughs> I've never found that insulting. <laughs> I bet you don't know what the fifth one is, though. Quintuple. Alternatively, pentuple. Right on, Jesse. Uh, by the power vested in me, yada da yada da yada da, the Order of the Stone. What? Jesse. You're going to have to set down a crafting table out there and make that formidable. Everyone else, grab a buddy and split up. We need to keep that Witherstorm on track, so build, build, build! Jesse, don't forget, Super TNT in the middle! And gunpowder all around! Don't blow up. Jesse, you actually did it! Not that I'm saying I doubted you, but I did a little. But now I don't, and I never will again. Look, I know it wasn't easy, but... About time we got a real win. I couldn't have done this without you guys. Any of it. Oh, believe me, we're well aware. Thanks for saying it, though. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, anybody seen Soren and Magnus? Oh, no. You fought valiantly, my friend. <clears throat> we both know my fight is over, man. Stuff and nonsense. Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> Save your strength, Magnus. We'll take care of this. I'll take care of you. Jesse. <sighs> Magnus. My armor. It looks great on you, man. I want you to keep it, okay? It's not going to be much use to me anymore. Don't say such things. Jesse knows. 
I'm right. Please don't go, Magnus. Please just hang on a little longer. I'm hanging, but only for a little while. Hey, at least I finally got to be a real hero, right? <sighs> All those people, they're alive. The Witherstorm didn't kill them. Jesse! You gotta help them. All of them. Of course I'll save them. Every one of them. We're the good guys, right? That's what we do. We've got a job to do. You guys help the survivors. I need to make sure we find the people who might be trapped. <sighs> Don't worry, it's all over now. My friends are gonna help you. Thank you, thank you. You're gonna be okay, I promise. I... Thank you. No! The command block, that's impossible! I, I don't understand. Soren said the Formidabom would destroy it, but it, it... It looks fine. What the... Guys! Over here! <laughs> No! No! Somebody help! <sighs> yeah. But I, I thought you were dead. I saw you. What? What happened here? I I'll explain everything. Just not right now. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone and a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Where? Where am I? What's going on? Come on, I'm gonna get you out of here. What? Who are you? <gasps> Jesse, Jesse, where are you? We're coming! No way, no way! You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? We need to get out of here now! Oh, this way! Jesse, you made it! And Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! What? Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger! You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there! Yeah. Jesse! 
Lucy! They're falling behind! Axel, you gotta move faster! She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot! We just need to get them moving faster. Bingo! Everybody, get on! Hey, what about us? Come on, Jesse, we got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I'll take Gabriel. Then I've got Petra. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I looked. Watch out! It's gaining on us! We're not gonna make it! Just keep it together, Gabriel. Please, don't let it come any closer! I'm trying! Jesse, look out! Am I seeing Enderman attack a wither storm? Enderman move blocks. It's what they do. There, we need to ride over that bridge. Guys, come on! We gotta build a new one, like right now. Come on, faster! Yeehaw! Woo! Axel, you're screaming in my ear! Sorry. We actually freaking made it! Hey, how are you feeling? I... I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! Oh, I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you! Uh, who are you people? It's me, Eligard! Come on! Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. Just give him some space for now. He may still come out of it. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You! You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I got you. Feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move, or 
breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't your fault, it's Ivor's. Who wouldn't do something stupid for a diamond? But without my help, Ivor wouldn't have- Wouldn't have wanted revenge on Gabriel? Believe me, he would have found another way. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. We didn't all make it back, though. Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Magnus's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. You can't blame yourself, Jesse. Mm, I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Oh, great! Look, our plan didn't work, so we obviously need a new one. The question is, what do we do? Well, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true, I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but if they were just trapped in the Wither Storm... Look, even if your friends are out there somewhere, there's nothing you can do for them. What? No, if they're alive, I have to go after them. They might need me, Jesse. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. Uh, Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... If your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. Buddy, you doing okay? <laughs> of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. We've lost too many people already. failed. 
Part of me was still holding out hope that they could fix things, but I guess I should have known better. <laughs> You're really not making me feel better, Reuben. Oh, you wanted help, do you? That's what I said, isn't it? Oh, just as you once helped us before. This isn't about the past, it's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. I'll take responsibility for once, Soren. Soren, you need to listen to Hush, me. Hush, Ivor, for once. I told you, Ugh. I wouldn't have followed you here without good reason. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. I have the amulet, Ivor. I have all along. What? Ugh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse. I... I didn't know. And it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well... Except Endermen. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not from mere mortals. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet. So if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Yes, well, I created a failsafe. What kind of failsafe exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it! Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. It just keeps coming for us. Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. I'll keep the Witherstorms busy. You guys do what you gotta do. Axel, thank you. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it. I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. further now.
right? No. No, we're not even close. Rear end is profoundly sore. It feels like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Hold on, back up. What exactly are the Far Lands? Are you being serious? The far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. Guys, we can't turn back now, not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? I'll be back. A witch's hut. Ah! We should steer clear of it. Nothing good ever happens when witches are involved. Look, a cake. That's, that's enough to feed everyone. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Is that a witch? <laughs> Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. And they know these swamps far better than I. Ivor, I can't pass this up. I need you to watch my back, okay? I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. I'll keep watch. Just be quick about it. Ocean of leaping, cool. An entire cake, nice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes. yeah. Ow! Ivor! Ivor? Jesse, we need assistance. Everyone, let's get out of here ASAP! Ivor said the Far Lands are just past the swamp. Wait, where is Ivor? I thought he was with you. He disappeared outside the witch's hut. Curse that fool of a man. Come on! <laughs> Guys, I think we lost them for... <laughs> wow! You lost them for wow? What is that... Oh, wow. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'm glad Jesse snagged this cake. Makes the whole wall of insanity thing a lot easier to face. Say what you like about witches. They sure know how to make a cake. Hmm. 
by the sight, isn't it? Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Far Lands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. How can Ivor live here? I mean, it's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this... Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if the rest of our group was with us. Come on! Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I sense that entering this so-called maze would be a grave mistake? Because some part of you still knows Ivor. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or I don't know. Some way around. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. of leaping! <laughs> Guys, climb the vines! Well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. But now what do we do? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. <sighs> hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. A slime ball. Huh, redstone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <laughs> this maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, we've got to push on to Ivor's lab somehow. Too bad there's a gaping bottomless pit in the way. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side, but it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. 
You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. Come on, you'll figure it out. You know you always do. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. So prove her wrong. Show the world what you're made of. Prove her wrong? Jesse, she's the greatest redstone engineer ever. She's in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right, just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. None of them give Eligard any respect. And Magnus lost his life trying to fight this. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? All I know is the world is depending on us. And maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, we won that building contest at Endercon. That was a contest, Jesse. Right, and the competition was stiff. Just think what we can do when there's nobody even watching. I like that way of looking at it. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Okay, a redstone block. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problem. <laughs> It must be this way! Run! Everybody get on! Quick, onto the barge! That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> no, no, I'm positive. You spit the whole ride quivering in terror. Soren, are you afraid of flying? <laughs> but the, the man's mad. He's wither crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I might be mistaken. Mm, I liked you better when you had amnesia. That was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. So many books. 
We should be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. This Ivor character. I'm recalling that he knew something about potions. Could one of these stop the wither monsters? What do you remember? I seem to recall that Ivor was better with potions than people. And he, he... Keep going. Ah, nothing else is coming. Besides the whole Ivor being a jerk thing. Potion of blindness, potion of dullness, potion of nausea. None of these will help me. Jesse, am I going to be all right? Or is this just who I am now? Always struggling to remember what I was. What I'm supposed to be. Of course you'll be okay. You're Gabriel the warrior. Thank you, Jesse. Your confidence in me is stronger than any potion. Except perhaps a potion of confidence. I wonder if he has one of those. How to train your slime. The various uses of mushroom stew? Potionology, volume 24? None of these are enchanting books. Looks like there's some cobblestone and some wood, two of my favorite blocks. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Too bad I don't have one. Yeah, no lever, no functioning circuit. First, I'll need some sticks. Okay, got the sticks. There we go. Good old-fashioned lever. Like it was made for it. Which it was. See what this sucker does. <laughs> a secret passageway. Hmm. Why would you build a secret passage in a house that nobody ever visits? More like why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. What the? Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there. We'll head down and see what we can find. Whoa, what is all this? Ha, huh, incredible. He's gathered them all in one place. Gathered what exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone. Uh, the stories I could tell about these dusty old things. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon! 
with replica ender crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. It's obviously some kind of puzzle. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> he was a big part of our team, after all. He knows his days in the Order were his finest. We're missing something here, Soren, and I have a feeling the key might be locked in that head of yours. I have a key locked in my head? What I'm saying is, I think you need to tell me about the Ender Dragon battle. Oh, ha, huh. if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. Soren, you are so full of it. Why would you say that? You made it sound like you were the only one who mattered. I was the leader. Believe you me. Whatever. I wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. Bow and arrow, great weapons. That's a sword. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya? <laughs> Aha! Yes! Yes, that's it! And then Gabriel poked it dead with a sword. Bravo! You did it! There's the book. Wait, aren't those the Ender Crystals? Like the real ones? No, it, it can't be. But those things were destroyed in your big heroic battle with the Ender Dragon, right? Soren? He kept them. The fool actually kept them. Soren, you said destroying these crystals was the key to defeating the Ender Dragon. You did kill the Ender Dragon, right? Jesse, this isn't this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Soren, I want the truth and I want it now. I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I don't care. Oh, I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it... It wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used the command block. You 
used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid. So. Understand, when I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger, faster. We could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, I concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated a dragon. And the rest is history. You do that! You you lied, even to your closest friends! All I can say is... I was a fool. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? Is this why you left the Order? Because Soren lied? Because they all did. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard, they agreed to keep this a secret. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. So this whole thing, the wither you unleashed, it's all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson! To show you who the Order really are! Liars, cowards! And now, they know! Yes, I suppose they do. And how is that any better? You reveal their lies at the expense of the world itself? Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. Which brings us back to why we're here. We need to destroy that command block, like now. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. So the enchanting book, what do we do with it? You craft a weapon, then put it on an anvil. Follow me, I'll show you. Ivor, I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well, it doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see, there's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamond score! Never owned a diamond weapon. Just wait till you enchant it. Behold, my enchanted diamond hoe. <laughs> yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the order. 
They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? Well, I kind of want to keep the armor I'm already wearing. Really? I mean, Magnus died so I could have it, you know? Well, come to think of it, he would have liked that. Very well. Nice weapon, Jesse. Thanks. But at least take some for your friends. Sounds good to me. Now let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Wither Storms are doing against those Endermen. My poor fortress! I see Endermen, so this means the plan's working, right? Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. Do you still have the amulet? Safe and sound. That's not the problem. Then what is? The Endermen, they're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ah, oh, blast! They've kept the main Wither Storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. And Eligard ran off to fight that thing, all by herself. She's fighting a Wither Storm? Alone? Yep, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the... of the, uh... Order of the Stone? ...is out there fighting, then I belong out there too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name is Gabriel the Warrior. And he's running the wrong way. Uh, without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? I'll explain later. Fine. Hey, uh, you guys didn't check on Petra, did you? No, we came straight here. All alone in that cave? I hope she's all right. She will be as long as we destroy the command block. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but... Do we just go for it, or what? We need to find a way for me to use this. Whoa, that is, without question, the coolest thing I have ever, ever seen. Oh, and I brought you some armor, Axel. Here. Nice. I was feeling a little left out. Guys? Let's go kick some command block butt. <laughs> Does anyone see the command block? I don't think it's exposed. We need to get more Endermen focused on the Wither Storm. How do you make Enderman focus? I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you all, but... Soren! Did Soren just run away? Soren, come back here! Dude, what a chicken! Jesse, you can handle things out here, right? What? I can't let him get himself killed! Just get to the command block and destroy it! Soren! So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. It doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! The 
tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! How do you like that, you purple-eyed freak? Yes, they're falling for it. Jesse, look, it's working. That hole's big enough to get inside of. Now we just need to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. E everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. I've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armor. I've some TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some wool, some leftover slime. Oh, and I still have that minecart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean, if we use the TNT on, say... The minecart? Or those pistons. And we do have all that cobblestone. Maybe we could build a ramp? Or even go straight up vertically. Or find a way to use redstone. We're close to an answer. Guys, check it out. We used the pistons and some redstone to build a flying machine. Then when I'm high enough, I ignite the TNT and blast myself into the wither storm. <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea. So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh, look out! Ah! Axel! Ugh. Whoa! I can't hold on! I got you! Lucas! You're here! Ocelots, distract that wither storm! Hey you! Get a load of this! Lucas, thank you. Anything for a friend. Now let's hurry up and build this thing. <clears throat> okay, it's finished. Quick, climb on! And Jesse? I know you can do this. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. <laughs> Ruben, this is no place for a... made it angry. It's doing everything it can to protect the command block. Awesome weapon, don't fail me now.
Ruben, whatever happens, we have to destroy that command block. <laughs> Wait a second, I know exactly how to get up there. The tractor beam! Hey, you! Ruben, stay out of sight. Anything goes wrong, I don't want you caught up in it. Bet you can't catch me! Why did I have to look down? No, 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 no! Ruben, I need your help! Remember how we used to play fetch? That's it, that's it! Come on, Ruben, I believe in you! Ah! Jump, I'll catch you! You did it! I knew I could count on you! Time to put an end to this thing once and for... Ruben! Hold on, buddy! Ruben! No! Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... I mean, I didn't think you'd made it. Reuben, where's Reuben? I thought he was with you. You did it, Jesse. You actually did it. Hey, do you guys hear something? Ruben! <laughs> oh no! Ruben, you're a hero. You know that? You just helped save the world. Come on, Ruben, say something. It's okay, boy. I'm here. I'm here. See, I am... I am so sorry.
people used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. Maybe I should finally come clean. Don't tell them, Gabriel. Just let them have their legend. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and his friends. But I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why... There is something I want to tell you about the Order. We may have defeated the Ender Dragon, but that is nothing compared to what these heroes did. They took down a Witherstorm. They are a new generation of heroes. think I'm up here because I saved the world or something, but the truth is I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I had my friends with me. There was Olivia, Axel, Petra, Lucas. They stood by my side right from the start. Well, and they made fun of me when I deserved it, but that's just how we are. Dang right we are. It's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse, and now we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on, we went to the Far Lands. There was this gigantic wall and a huge maze and a model of the Ender Dragon that, well, you just had to be there. But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? Finishing what we set out to do. Because there's no way we were going to let a world this cool get torn apart. We did it! Jesse, this nether star is all that remained when the wither storm was destroyed. Would you please do the honors? Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. that a new Order of the Stone was born. One whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one.
Hey, Jesse, check this out. And three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too if you... Yuck! Dude, you're getting pretty good at this. You guys are working way too hard. You're always looking to one up us, aren't you? Is one seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the Stone, it's time to get some glory. For, for glory! glory! Fan out and search the place. These channels of lava are blocked by sticky pistons. If I were to unblock them... Hmm. I know we all yelled glory out there, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping for treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. somewhere. I think I actually would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. No. Then who was it that was yelling, Help me! Help me! The dispensers are trying to kill me! Wow, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We packed a lot in since then. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, I mean, that was before we'd fought Wither Storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Let's see what we've got. Hey, it's a cake! Ah, oh, man, you got cake? Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, man, thank you! Looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Uh, whoa! That's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. I'll be honest with you, Olivia, I have no idea what this is, or what it does. Uh, I do. A burning stuff, right? I mean, but it must do something besides that, right? You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. Warrior Whip, go! Come on, Jesse, make it good. Just like we practiced. Whoa! 
You guys, that was amazing! Okay, okay. It wasn't bad. Ugh, all these mobs, where does it end? Lava took them out. And there go the stairs. We need to get out of here now. I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again too. I'm dying to know how it works. Way ahead of you on that one, Axel. Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, what grief are you here to give us now? Look who's talking. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Yeah, Lucas is a hero. Which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. I'm tired of listening to your jaw flap. Ah! Ugh. You don't touch me! <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. Let's just go home, you guys. These blaze rods aren't worth it. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze rods! Ooh, shut up, Gil. Look out, Jesse. Okay, I'm officially starting to get a bad feeling about Aiden. Threatening people, scary enchantments on his sword. I hope he doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you going to do with it? Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it.
Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Come on, Aiden's just jealous. Isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! Yep, yeah. New Order of the Stone is back in town. Olivia's armor the best. Oh wait, no, 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 Axel! Jesse, you're the coolest! Thank you, thank you, it's good to be back. And now that we're back, I'm pretty sure that means it's time to party! Yes, Jesse, you're my favorite order member! Welcome back! High five me! Me! It actually hurt a little bit. Wow. Ah! That wasn't a happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh. Not my fault! Look out! Oh, oh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. So what's this weird structure? It's my new house. And also, uh, my gift to the community. If anyone's short on lava, this is the place to get more. <laughs> you're welcome! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. What about just moving it someplace else? I'm sure... Th move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <laughs> It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision, while they've got, they've got community planning. Blech. Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Right, leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava. Thanks, Jesse. That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking. Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes, great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found. Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But... Like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Nice work today, guys. Yeah, not bad, right? Mm, it's like we should do this more often or something. Later, guys! Come on, let's go find Ivor. This 
place is really shaping up. Hey guys, you have some pretty cool stuff in here. Hey Lucas, great to see you. It's been a while. I really missed you guys. We missed you too. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh wow, you framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? Every time I see another pig, all I can think about is how Reuben died because I put him in danger. He didn't die in some accident, Jesse. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Yeah, it doesn't make me feel any less guilty, though. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Oh, great. And what did he have to say? Apparently someone told him about Ivor giving you a tip, some kind of treasure. He really wanted to find it first. Ha! Beat him. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. More powerful artifacts, huh? So is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse. Okay, I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Well, what are we waiting for then? We've already been to that temple once. Finding it again will be a snap. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off. Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but ugh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Oh, come on, he's super funny and he makes me laugh. I guess. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. So, you think it's the right place then? Oh yes, Jesse. Oh yes, I very much do. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay. But careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. 
Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah, what he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Well, that seems promising. Jesse! What do you see? <gasps> it's some kind of portal? But where does it lead? I don't know. This portal, it's not like anything I've ever seen. Here goes nothing. Thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. You're pretty easy to follow, you know that? You're gonna regret that, Aiden. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah? Shut up, Gil! Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Let's go! We've got to follow them. Yeah, we're going, because I'm going to get that ever source first. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, Don't worry, I've got you! Uh, oh, you are surprisingly heavy. Uh, I am. The proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much! There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you, thank you! Any sign of the blaze rods? No, nothing! Do you think Aiden knew about all this? The portal? The Eversource? He definitely seems to know now. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? So very strange. is a settlement or whatever, that is our best bet to find Aiden. A city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're gonna reach it. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please! You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough locks? Elementary, my dear Lucas, the underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Pushing. I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. You're building. I, you, I, I, I don't. Hey, 
You seen a bunch of punks in matching jackets? Call themselves the Blaze Rods? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I can't talk to you. Why? You, 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 you were building. Uh, unauthorized building is against the law. Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden. Okay, I'll bite. Why is building against the law? Oh, uh, it, this is making me terribly nervous, but uh, first those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come I'm back. super busy, sorry. And he's gone. Ah, <sighs> darn. I wonder if everyone here is that nervous. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Yes, clearly the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. We need to find Aiden. He's got our flint and steel and he's up to no good, but we're gonna stop him. He mentioned an inn, right? That seems like our best lead for finding Aiden so far. Agreed. The Blaze Rods already have a head start, so we need to get moving. We don't have any time to lose. Don't step on the grass, please. Okay. Sorry. I just take my job very seriously, because it is, in fact, serious business. This garden must be special to get its own guard. What's the deal? The dirt here is precious. This garden feeds almost everybody in town. If even one block were to drop over the edge, whoo, catastrophe. Hey there. Are you on a schedule for the furnace this afternoon? Didn't think there were any more appointments today. Hang on, let me see here. Appointment, why would I need an appointment to use a furnace? By city law, acts of crafting are only authorized with the founder's permission. This appointment system is in place to safeguard against any illegal building or crafting. If you wish to make an appointment, speak to the founder. Good day. Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The Founder finally approved my petition. The Founder? Well, that's her palace up there. She is the Keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Huh, so that's where the Eversource is. Yep, right by the Founder's side, so she can protect us from it. That's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. I just don't understand why everyone shouldn't be allowed to build. Ha! <laughs> what a sentiment. I mean, it is a good thought, but it's crazy. I'm looking for the inn. You know where it is? Uh, yeah. It's back over that away. Milo's place. Milo, huh? Thanks. No problem. I can't believe they just built their way right into town. No, I've never seen anything like uh, it. hello. Oh, oh my, hello again. Can we, uh, do anything for you? Can you two point me in the direction of the inn? They must be looking for Milo. Shh. Uh, I mean, no, 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 we don't know any Milo. Really? Because it sure sounds like you know him. Uh, okay, okay, we know of him. If you really want to find him... He's the kind of messy-looking guy. Spender's always falling down. So messy. Thanks, I guess. And where should I put them? Yes, just give them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? What, uh, what was that all about, with the whispering and the sticks? Gosh, I don't know what you're talking about. None of that here. 
It's <laughs> not stick allowance day after all. So why would I, a, a humble innkeeper, have sticks? <laughs> Seriously, just put all of that out of your mind. It's, it's not important. Hey, I've already forgotten all about it. No problemo. Fantastic. Much appreciated. Now, what can I do for you, friend? I heard you talk to the blaze rods earlier. What did they want? Hmm. Hmm. Blaze rods. Hmm. I... I don't know any blaze rods. You must have been misled. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? How many of you are there? I told you I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Is he hiding them somewhere? I am uncomfortable with this line of questioning. Come on, you can trust me. Nothing bad is gonna happen, just help us. Fine, if it will make you leave me alone. That Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the Founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. Guys, I think I found the blaze rods. Oh, no. What are they doing? People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, was that you? Were you the bridge builders? I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts. Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to that Eversource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. By getting arrested? Wait, don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she out. look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Uh, unhand me! Come with me! This is completely unnecessary! Jesse, we need to get out of here! Hey. Come on! Don't treat him like that. We didn't do anything wrong. Builders! Ha! Knew you'd see it my way. Thank you, Jesse. Hey! Hands off the robes! Guards! Bring them forward. Jesse, I... I'll find a way to help you. I promise. I hope you know what you're doing. Let go of me this instant! Excuse me! Excuse me! Come with me. We meet at last. Listen, I don't know what that guy's told you, but you can't listen to him. Oh, Jesse, I'm hurt. Wounded. Hmm, I admire your honesty in stepping forward. This should be interesting. service to Sky City. 
I grant you these gifts. There, see? That vine card she summoned. It must lead to the Eversource. Really? That's what you're focusing on? I'd say we have bigger problems on our hands. Like Aiden. Look at him, all friendly with the Founder. That's bad news. Lucas is right. We need to figure out what Aiden is up to so we can stop him. That's what we need to stay focused on. I've got the feeling I already know what Aiden is up to. Take your reward and enjoy the bounty of Sky City's generosity. Carrots? Really? You gotta be kidding! We are honored, wonderful founder. Of course. Now go. I have criminals to deal with. Good luck, Jesse. I hope you like being doomed. You're going down, Aiden. I'm gonna stop you. Not this time, Jesse. Out of my way, Reggie. It's Reginald. Come on, criminals. Time to see the founder. Jesse and accomplices. You have committed acts of wanton and illegal building, something specifically forbidden by our laws. Explain yourself. But I didn't know it was against the law when we started to build. We were stranded. What were we supposed to do? Ignorance won't get you any favors. Aiden told me all about you, Jesse. About how you're a tyrant back home. About how you and your Order of the Stone steal all the world's treasures for yourself. About how you're here to steal the Eversource from my city. A terrible act of treason. Whoa, 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 you got it all wrong. The, the Blaze Rods are the thieves, not us. We're just here trying to get back the thing they stole from us. Really? Jesse, it's clear that you're the little ringleader. So how about you come with me? Um, okay. Ah, I guess we'll just wait here then. Tell me what you see. I don't see anything. It's just empty. Precisely. As you can see, nothing exists below us, only the void. Resources, every kind, are incredibly precious. And when something falls, it is gone forever. It is why building only happens when I dictate it. People only receive materials when I allow it. Otherwise, we would collapse back into chaos. Well, yeah, but you've got the Eversource, right? Can't you just use that to make more materials? It is not that simple. <sighs> People act as though I want things to be this way. Allocating the limited resources. Risking my life every day. I'll have you know that before I found the Eversource, this world was nothing more than a cluster of pathetic islands in the sky. I do this for my people. That is why I do what I do. You don't need to do it alone. We could help you. We could work together. <sighs> Being the leader of this city, it is a tiring burden. Uh, but no, this is my city. These are my people. And it is my responsibility. I think I've heard quite enough. Good. Now that you're back, we can talk properly. Reginald, I've made my decision. While I'm not convinced that you are here to steal the Eversource, the fact remains that you constructed a bridge of dirt without authorization. That is why you and your companions are to be detained <gasps> until I can discern the full truth of the matter. 
Reginald, please remove them. Oh, come on. I wanted to help you. Don't do this. <sighs> I'm afraid this is the way it has to be. Sorry, outsiders. Founder's orders. No changing your mind now. You guys have some really fascinating stuff here. Hey, you already locked us up. Do you really need to confiscate our stuff, too? Well, wouldn't be much of a jail if I let you keep your stuff. Oh, wow. What is this? That's called sand. You've never seen sand before? Sand? Wow. What's it do? Are you kidding me? We are not going to explain sand to the guy locking us behind bars. I refuse. Well, whatever it does, it's going in the chest with everything else. <laughs> Nothing sadder than an unimportant man on the world's tiniest power trip. Hey, I don't have to take this. I'm in charge here. You're criminals. Aiden told everyone all about how horrible you are. <clears throat> He said that you burn down trees just for fun. That you steal all the world's treasures and hoard them for yourself. He also said that you tame wild animals just so you can make them chase innocent people. You can't believe a thing Aiden says. He's a liar. He said that you'd say that. Well, I suppose that's probably what a liar would say. I'm sorry, but this is the way it has to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go help the blaze rods beef up security. Can't believe I'm taking orders from that sniveling little... <clears throat> Stay here. Don't cause any trouble. Reginald, you've got to listen to me. Aiden's tricked the Founder so that he can steal the Eversource for himself. There's not much time. They're personal guests of the Founder, and sure, maybe I don't like them, but I'm probably just being paranoid. Reggie, listen to me. You've seen how they act. They're not good people. You know it. Uh, okay. Let's say you make a good point. And I'm not saying you do. But hypothetically, why would I, Captain of the Guard, let you, a criminal, out of that cell? I'll never know how you looked at them and thought, there are some upstanding citizens. Reginald, because you know it's the right thing to do. Well, you do make a compelling argument. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's say I'm heading to the pantry to get you prisoners some bread. How long would you say something like that would take you on average? Probably about as long as it would take someone to get from here into the throne room. Maybe you'll forget to lock the door? Please just get out of here. Get to the throne room and stop the blaze rods. Ha! Huh, nice work! Now, on to the Eversource. I mean, I understand wanting to stop the blaze rods, but... <laughs> You can't still really want to steal the Eversource, can you? Honestly, I just don't want Aiden to get his hands on the Eversource. So long as we stop him, that's what's important. Sounds good to me. No way Aiden would do anything good if he had it. Throne room was back this way. Hmm. 
Well, here we are. Back in the throne room. Keep your voice down. We don't know if we're alone in here. I don't know. Looks deserted to me. Behind you! <coughs> hey! Wait! Stop! Milo, easy! That's Jesse and Lucas! Jesse, I can't believe we found you! Where were you? Yeah. We were actually planning to break you out of jail, but I guess you guys have that covered. Hello again, Jesse. It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once more. I had hoped this would be the case. This is all very nice and very sweet, but who the heck are you? You trust this guy, Petra? Yeah, he really helped me. He's cool. In actuality, I'm the leader of a group that wants the same thing you do. It's a rebellion. It is a long story. In short, my people want to free the Eversource from the Founder's clutches so that everyone may use it. If Aiden and his blaze rods steal the Eversource, we'll just be trading one tyrant for another. And I won't allow that. Yeah, he's gotta be stopped. Milo, I'm happy to have you aboard. Welcome to the team. I'm very pleased to be involved. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. Habits of the Enderman by Soren? Well, how'd that get here? The rest are just inventory registries and legal information. Boring. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. Stone generator. Amazing! Lava and water. Placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! That is ingenious! Yeah, there was a door here before with a minecart. Yeah. What happened to it? We just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's got to be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! a very door vibe from this. Yeah. What happened to it? We just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's got to be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap. If I had a lever, this would be the perfect spot for it. Okay, let's do this. Ah, my old friend the lever. Excellent! This is it! Eversource, here we come. Chests. Yeah, and they're all labeled? Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean?
Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? <laughs> a sheep? Is... is that a monster? <laughs> That's not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So the Eversource makes these spawn egg things. Stay on your toes. We're close. Ah, I can't wait. Let's take a look around. Incredible! The Eversource is a chicken? What? Yes, the spawn eggs. It's so simple! Wait, 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 wait. That's the Eversource? So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people. With it, we'll finally be free of the founder. But that clucking thing is what we came for. <laughs> Milo's right. The Eversource belongs to the people. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure. I knew it. I knew you were here to steal from me. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. Oh, Aiden, will you just shut up already? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. Creeper, look out! I've got Aiden! Save the bounty! Oh, you got me, Lucas!
impossible. That's impossible! Jesse? There! Can we get to it in time? It's gonna be close! I don't believe it. You, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I... I can't believe it. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. Well, land is gonna be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's gonna change everything. Yes. It's all just so enormous. Just, just grass everywhere. I can barely process what I'm seeing. What, what do I do now? Once my people see this, I... I have a lot of planning to do. You can bring all your people down here. They, they won't have to, to petition for resources or any of that stuff anymore. I, I suppose you're right. Yes, we have to go back up and tell them. Getting back up? My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. Look out! What's going on up there? Aiden's made some big mistakes. He's probably in completely over his head by now. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in! Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop, Aiden! Of course I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Issa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, that'll work. What is it? We need to start gathering dirt as much as we can. Uh, how will that help? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay, that should do it. Jesse, what is that? What? What is it? Once I get my flint and steel back from the blaze rods, it'll be my ticket out of here. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. City is under attack by monsters, man. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Hey, come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you 
are alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. Very quick on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Okay, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. Huh? You speak truthfully, my friend? <laughs> well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. I will see you on the other side. <laughs> Like that, huh? Blaze rods! Boom! Hey! Oh. Jesse! You're alive? <sighs> Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! You need to stop him. I know! Jesse, take one of these! They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients! Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Can't stop what you can't see. Aiden, you've lost! I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the founder with you? <laughs> what the... Reginald! Not one more step! Just you and me, Aiden. Just you and me now. Just die already! Should have left while you had the chance! This was supposed to be my world! And you ruined it! Listen to yourself, that's insane! Why couldn't you have left well enough alone? Get back here! can't stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, look around you. It's over. Give up. No! You don't get to tell me that! About this, right? Here, here. You want your flint and steel back, huh? Take it. 
It's yours! Just, please, don't hurt me! You did it! Jesse, we need to get out of here! <laughs> what do you want to do with him? Please! This place is getting worse by the minute! You can't just leave me here! Take me with you! Get moving, you're coming with us. Th th thank you. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> More than you deserve, frankly. Jesse! <laughs> so much for the blaze rods. You retrieved the Eversource. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, stay together! Jesse, there you are! Jesse! The waterfalls! The waterfalls can take us to safety! What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void! The void won't kill you! There's land down there! Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? Jesse is telling the truth. I saw the land as well. In fact, I will prove it to you. Ah! Wait for me! Jesse, I cannot thank you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary, but exciting. Just take it slow, okay? You guys have been isolated for so long, you, you don't want to get overwhelmed by all this real world. Freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere! Those idiots. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. Oh, I bet the Blaze Rods are in for a bad time. These Sky City people are not happy with them. Yeah, hopefully they dig a deep hole, bury them in it, surround it with lava, and... Sorry, got a little carried away there. Aiden. Oh, uh, hi, Jesse. I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to cause all that trouble. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Aiden. It didn't have to be that way. I was just so jealous, bitter. And you had all this cool stuff going on, and, and I just wanted a piece. I wanted my time to shine too. I'd say you have a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Try and make a fresh start, okay, Aiden? Do something good for these guys. Y yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Make myself a little house. Uh, maybe I'll become a writer. I won't try to compete with you anymore. Attention! Uh Attention! Hello, hello everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow, those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist, 
through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Watch your tongue, mister. Just relax a minute, okay? Relax? Relax? My people are in more danger than they ever have been, and you want me to relax! No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Oh, that's right. In the middle of all the fighting and everything, I almost forgot. When I was on the ground with the Founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. You guys are starting from scratch again. You should build something new together. You know, a few days ago, I would have been dreading that. But now I know I don't have to do everything by myself. That's rather nice. And my poor feathered friend here doesn't need to be responsible for creating all the materials. <laughs> After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Oh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversource. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? No, I just saw those pigs and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Whew, what a huge relief. I was worried we'd be stuck here forever. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure, is all. <laughs> Lloyd Stock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Wait till Axel and Olivia hear where we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting.